The painfully shy country girl was terrified to get on stage, but Doolittle insisted. The band liked what they heard and invited Loretta to sing with them at a dance hall in Blaine, Washington. Five dollars on a Saturday night, and I saved my money up, bought me a felt hat, and a skirt with fringe on it, it's culottes, and uh, a black shirt with red, big red roses, and uh, white acne boots. Man, Annie Oakley couldn't have held a candle for me. <laughs> Loretta's confidence grew with every performance. In just a few months, she had her own band called Loretta's Trailblazers, with her brother Jay Lee Webb on lead guitar, Roland Smiley on pedal steel, and Loretta on rhythm guitar and vocal. They had been playing for several months at a local tavern when Doolittle entered Loretta in an amateur contest on a regional TV show out of Tacoma, Washington. It was hosted by a young country singer named Buck Owens. Do took me down to his TV show and asked Buck if I couldn't sing, and I sang Whispering Sea. That was the third song I'd wrote. And um, this man from um, uh, Vancouver, Canada, he owned a big lumber yard. Um, he seen me sing Whispering Sea. So he called for me to come up to talk to him. Mr. Burley was his name. Norm Burley's business was lumber, not music. But his wife had recently died, and Loretta's song, Whispering Sea, had touched him. 